This is Come and See with Father Philip Hall, turning to and following Christ in the 21st century. Father Philip is parish priest at All Saints of Lincolnshire Orthodox Church in Lincoln, England. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, God is one. Amen. Christ is risen. Begin by reading Acts chapter 11, 19 to 30, and then John's Gospel 4, 5 to 42. These are the readings for the Sunday of the Samaritan Woman. Now, the Samaritan Woman is called Fotini, or Svetlana, or Claire, in English Claire. In each case, it's to do with light, the light that came into her heart after she met the Lord. She apparently spent her life doing mission and evangelism along the coast of North Africa, where she eventually met a martyr's end. But let's go back to that particular day, a hot, dry day, when for some peculiar reason, in the middle of the day, she set off with her water pot to go and get water. There was something unusual about it. You wouldn't expect anybody to go out in the middle of the day to carry a heavy load of water. We all know that. We keep that sort of heavy job for the early morning. But she did do that, and we don't know why she did it. And when she ran off home, she forgot to take the water with her. In fact, we don't even know if she gave the Lord any water to drink. You read, read the story, so I don't need to tell you about it. Now, there are lots of interesting things about this particular episode in the ministry of our Lord. But I'm not going to talk about any of them, except this. The woman went, as it were, to the tap, and when she got there, she found God. And it completely changed her life. Everything about her then turned round and was then completely different. Imagine how astonishing that is. Not only was her life changed, but the life of all the other people in her village. They were all changed as well. Not only there, but later on, after the resurrection, she set off to do mission and evangelism over the whole of North Africa. Imagine this woman. She had no idea when she set off with her pot of water, it would have been a big pot, her pot of water, pot for water rather, to the well. She had no idea that effectively she was leaving home and was going to be travelling over a huge part of what was then the known world. So you might say, very good, what of it? Well, allow yourself to be similarly surprised by God. Very frequently, people discover their vocation from God as a surprise. It's not what they expected to do. They set off on the underground, or in a bus, or in an aeroplane, or by car, or they walked around the corner, they met somebody at a social gathering, the door was knocked upon and somebody appeared there, and their life was then completely changed. A chance conversation in a shop, or chatting to somebody over coffee after the Divine Liturgy, or picking up a book on the bookstore and opening it seemingly at random and their life is completely changed. In this case, Saint Fortini, Svetlana, Claire, set off late from home. What had happened to the water she should have got earlier in the day, we have no idea. But the Lord gave her living water, water that welled up inside her and poured out of her over an enormous part of the world. She had no intention of becoming one of the Orthodox Church's favourite saints on that day when she set off at midday to get water from the well. You too. Keep yourself ready and alert to find out what God wants for you. It will be uncomfortable. The Lord said to this lady, It's true what you say. You've had all these husbands 
and the man that you're living with now is not your husband. She was astonished. And then she began to ask further questions. And the answer to those was also uncomfortable. But that discomfort led to her salvation and the salvation of many, many, many others. Not just in her life and her generation, but sweeping down all the generations until now. Because we too can read about the living water that she was offered and so gratefully received and then took with her and spread over such a wide area. So perhaps after you have seen this video, you'll go into your kitchen and you'll switch on the tap and you too will have a revelation of God. For out of the tap, may flow much more than you expected. So when you make your next cup of tea, when you make a cup of coffee, remember about the living water that wells up within you. Remember that the Lord appeared to Fotini by the side of that well and ask him for direction for your own life. Christ is risen. Your prayers. God bless you. Amen. Join us again next time for Come and See with Father Philip Hall, a listener-supported presentation of Ancient Faith Radio.